Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. We're going to test the fire light fire alarm panel. It's also a 3030. They just do it a fire light alarm, okay? It's just the branding or the model. It's same how you do the testing in 3030. Let's start. Okay, let's start. So this is the Honeywell 2023 fire panel with a single loop. They call it a fire light alarm. And then make the announcement. This is a standalone system. Make the announcements using the microphone. Or if you want, you open up the board. All right, open it up. In the evacuation system, that's the evacuation system, the DA260, just press the test button. The test button, make the announcement. The emergency warning system is being tested. Okay, and then we can start the test. All right, let's press the menu. That's the main menu. Press main menu. What you're going to do is you have to do some testing, but what you do is program alter status. And then I already put the password, so I'm now in. Password is 000, 000, 000 eight zeros. And then you're going to do it next is the alter status menu. And then alarm simulation. Let's zoom in. Sometimes it's hard. Okay, let's make another angle. Alarm simulation. And then select whatever detector you want. If I, let's say loop one detector one, that's okay. And then activate the device. And you got it. And then silence and then initiate the reset one thing that's not good is you're going to have a fault which will clear itself after three or four minutes there's your fault just acknowledge that then the system is clear all you have to do is just wait and it clear itself okay just we're just going to wait initiate initialization then just press reset let's see if it will clear itself after for a while and then that light will be clear later on okay takes a while it's already an acknowledged fault okay now it's clear right then it cleared itself all done easy if you learned something today, this is Elmer, your fire protection guy.